So at noon, the fraud case against former congressional staffers will be moving forward. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell was in court today as the judge made a ruling. They are two of the people accused in a signature scandal that led to a Livonia congressman's resignation. Today, a judge here at 16th District Court ruled there is enough evidence against them for the case to move forward. So based on the evidence that I've heard, I'm going to go ahead and... Um Bind the both defendants over on that felony count. The judge's decision, a win for Michigan Attorney General Bill Schuette's office. It is leading the case against four people accused of filing fake nominating petition signatures for former U.S. Congressman Thaddeus McCotter. The signatures were needed to put McCotter on the ballot for re-election in the 11th District. McCotter testified last week as the judge looked at evidence. McCotter told the court he didn't know that Don Yao Chang and Paul Sewold and two others charged separately were allegedly submitting the forged petitions. Both face felony and misdemeanor charges, including conspiracy and falsely signing a nomination petition. Seawald's attorney says his client made mistakes, but the felony charge against him should be dropped. At the end of the day, there was eight of them that hadn't been signed. My client signed them. He already acknowledged that. In a deposition with the attorney general's office, which he believed was a civil investigation, not a criminal investigation, only to wake up one day and see that he's been charged with a felony and eight misdemeanors when he was trying to cooperate with the attorney general. In essence, it's nothing more than a political witch hunt for political gain. The case will now move from 16 to District Court to Circuit Court, where they are scheduled to face a judge on November 6th. In Livonia, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.